Hey everybody, this is Penn. And in this video, um, this is going to be just a few topics all in one video where I'm going to be looking at the LG C2 prices versus this year's model, the LG C3. Now I'm going to be showing 65 inch because that's currently the biggest display um, in this office setup. Now, the point of this is just to highlight some things and be able to give you a perspective, some ideas, um, definitely in case if you're budgeting and if you want to save some money, but still get a quality experience. Um, and perhaps there may be multiple videos of things like this dealing with technology. But uh, I'll just start off with this. So. And what inspired this video was by Room. Uh, shout out to Room when he was looking at the uh, C3 prices versus the C2 and sort of like, I'm guessing, playing a game of which one do you purchase or which one do you go with. So this is just going to be my response or follow up additional comments. Uh, pretty much inspired from that. So comments make for, you know, some content. So. <clears throat> The 65 inch C2 is what I have currently, um, along with the 42 inch C2 as well for my desk, for my monitor. So this price, um, I'm looking at Best Buy only because it's one of the few places that I know that covers the burn-in warranty. And I think it's just an awesome place in general to buy your televisions. Not the only option, just one of my favorite options, that's all. C2 currently um, at Best Buy is listed for $1,700. Open box is gonna be around $1,300, um, maybe a little bit more plus tax, but that's the prices from open box. Now, <clears throat> one of the things that you should consider when you are buying a television Definitely an OLED is the features. Uh, just are you purchasing the OLED that's catered to more gaming? Are you purchasing the OLED that's sort of all in one? Or are you purchasing the OLED that's has that picture processing, but has gaming features, but it's really made for more movies. And you can sort of guess like what I'm aiming towards in that regard. Um, from the big three or the top three, all the OLEDs you know, that were released uh, definitely in the past few years um, has definitely been overall solid in terms of the overall reviews that has been released across the market and definitely here on YouTube. Price is definitely a big indicator. Um, 1700 versus 2500 now there's a deal going on right now for Best Buy for the LG C3 65 inch where you save a hundred dollars. Not much of a savings in my personal opinion. Definitely when you factor in getting the warranty. So let's take that twenty five hundred. All right, and let's just say, let's just say for a, a TV like this, um, you're not going to purchase a two year warranty like I did with my 65. Let's just say you want the max. Cause I did that for my 42, just not the 65. You want the max, you're looking at $525. Okay. So you could add that on to this price. And as you can see, this nets it in the range of over 3K plus tax. Essentially, once you factor in the full warranty, the taxes, and this current price as of the day of this video. Now, you go to the C2 OLED, 1700 and the five-year warranty comes to about just shy of 400 So, either purchase with either purchase is going to be over two grand, but you're going to come um a grand cheaper you, you want to save a little bit over a stack <laughs> as they say when you go with last year's model versus 
the current year model. Um, just trying to piece together like a, a picture for y'all, for those of y'all that's out there that's looking to purchase new televisions. Um, always keep in mind of your different retailers. Of course, things like Christmas time, Black Friday, uh, the Super Bowl is one of the best times to buy a new TV, if you ask me. Um, I'm just a little impatient. I just did not want to wait for the Super Bowl. But uh, things worked out. I did some planning beforehand. But you don't necessarily have to pay uh, for the latest year model or the top of the line to have a quality experience. Um, here on my channel, uh, I did videos in the past, you know, coverage on the C2 OLED. I'm doing things like, you know, review that, that I recently posted, you know, different settings different things that I felt like I needed to touch upon and expand upon when it comes to the television. And I still have some content that's planned out for this TV. This is an excellent choice if you are looking at the latest model and if this price simply doesn't work for you. If it's in a budget, if it's in a budget. And if you're looking for a sort of like an all around television that's OLED technology, you can't go wrong with the C series from LG. Now, hearing some things about what's going on with the game mode or the new features, new panel, you have to do your research when it comes to that. But generally for all around television in the OLED space, LG is tried and true. If it's in a budget, then, then a C3 would be your ideal purchase, but don't look past the C2. If you can save yourself some money, maybe you can save that extra thousand or so and you can put it towards something else. I don't know, just an idea. So this is where I started when it came in the 4K space. This is the Hisense 43 inch 4K model H 60 80 E you probably can't even find a review on this television because it's that, uh, it's that outdated and it was a very budget for a KTV. This was the year that I had graduated college. So I did not have all of my money, you know, all together. You know, I did not have the knowledge as I do now and the resources. Um, those Amazon, you know, prime day or prime time, whatever it's called. Um, this came out, this was less than like $400. Like I want to say it was like around 360 plus tax. And it was a deal, you know, it, it was on prime day, things like that. So. But this got me by from 2018 to 2021. Um, the price difference I purchased fall of 2021, the Hisense UAG. Did videos of this on my channel as well. This television introduced me to so many things and it gave me how a picture should look once you have the bells and whistles, all the features, um, just in a quality package at a affordable price point, uh, my personal opinion. Um, this TV got bright up to 1500 nits, had HDR 10 plus Dolby Vision at most. This is the same page that I was referencing um, before I clicked purchase back then. I mean, I was looking for just a major overhaul versus my budget Hisense 4K experience. This UAG made this 4K TV look like a 1080p like counterpart. Like it was that big of a jump. Actually, the UAG um, showed me what a 4K Blu-ray picture should look like. Uh, it, it wasn't LG, it was Hisense first. So, you know, just want to get that in order, get that straight. I was looking into all this full array, local dimming, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, Quantum Dot technology. 
um, this TV opened up the doors for me. It opened up doors in which I saw uh, what I liked and what I would want to have going forward in a television. And then it showed me doors of what I disliked. So it's all about options and budgets in this game. Um, there's no perfect solution. It's not about spending the most money. Um, it's about planning. It's about going by what you want to spend and you don't have to spend the most to have a quality experience. You just don't, you just don't. Um, and to me, I feel that way about not only televisions, but about audio as well. Just my opinion, um, nothing more, nothing less. You can feel different, uh, but I would like to know why down in the comments. Yeah, so <clears throat> all in all, uh, you saw that, or I gave you sort of like a little bit of a history level, history lesson of the progression in this sense to where I started off with a very, very cheap 4K TV. And Hisense have came a long way since 2018. Like, they've been leveling up. Um, just because I had a uh, a bad panel uh, lottery, the panel lottery is essentially applies to all televisions to where you may just get a bad panel. Um, it can be just a bad panel mixed in with the firmware updates to where movie and TV show content sports can look good. But for gaming, that fast motion stuff, you, you just get this motion trailing that just looks atrocious. And um, I did a video about that on my channel. I show proof of what I was like experiencing. So uh, that's with the UAG, not this TV. This TV has better motion than a UAG, believe it or not. Um, in terms of just like gaming and movies, but of course the UAG is the better TV by a mile, <laughs> like not a mile, more than a mile, but sort of rambling on here, but essentially, uh, you see, I went from Hisense to LG. It's all about planning. It's all about uh, doing your homework, you know, doing your research. And when you do your homework and you do your research, you can put together a package that makes sense for you. Does not have to be the most expensive package. It just have to be the package that makes sense in relation to your household, your space, if you're a family person. That's where you add, that's where you can answer your own questions. But the one answer isn't to go out and just go balls Mahoney and just spin crazy. That's not what this game is about um, in terms of my opinion. It's just about doing your homework. All right, so I want to wrap this up. I uh, hope everybody found this video to be informative. Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section. And until next time, peace out. Thank you for watching.